So we just finished up in Montville, Ohio at Seldom Seen Farm. Spent some time with Kevin Holy, and now we're heading to Wakeman Maple Farm, which is on the other side of Cleveland. Uh, so we went from rural Northeast Ohio to, well, it'll be, I'm guessing rural. I've never been to Wakeman, Ohio, but uh, if they're making syrup, it's probably kind of a rural area. So uh, only two sugar houses today we'll be visiting. I think that's all, all we got in us today. This is cool. I mean, they're like doing it up. Look at all the people. It's a good sign. <laughs> all right, so we're here with Doug and Janet. Janet. Yes. Nice, nice to meet you guys. You so this is your place. Yes. Yes. This is, is Wakeman Maple Wakeman Farms. Wakeman Maple Farms. And Welcome. tell me your story. Like what? You guys doing an open house today? We, and we are. We have an open house today. Um, we're a really small producer, but we we market big, and we had about. 15 vendors here, but we're we're losing vendors. We're they're they're leaving on us today, and I uh, had a, a pretty decent crowd here the last two. I days. could tell. I couldn't yeah. believe that you said you're winding down because I've been to some that this was more than they had all day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, this. No, it's 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 been quite a flow through. Here. It has it has a lot a lot of people. And what we do when we have a we really have a crush of crowd. We go out to this uh, the logs that are strapped to this pole. Okay. And actually, the bucket sitting out there has the drill in it and a bit and a bag of spiles, a piece of tubing. We let people drill the hole. We explain to them the process. We drill the hole. Then we hand it to them, and we let them drill the hole and put the spile in and tap the tree. Then we go to the either big trees on the sides, and we let them collect. And we have buckets of sap sitting there so they can collect. And then everybody collects it in their bucket. That's and cool. Carry it back to the sugar house. So they are they're doing it firsthand. So rather than so experiential. It, yes. yes. Hands yes. on. Hands on. I see your sap hauler out there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Both of them. Both of them. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, the the, the truck the, and the boat. Do you do yeah. me there? So we we import sap. Okay. Um, there's a fellow that I work with. He lives north of here. He he has. Roughly 450 taps on a tubing system. Okay. It's a vacuum. And I buy the majority of my sap through him. Yeah. And a lot, a lot of times, a lot of times we barter. Like for next year, if he needs new tubing or like last year, he wanted to upgrade to a guzzler pump. So I, I found one and we got that and we bartered. Um, this year he needed some excavator work done. So I did that for him. So that, that, paid for my sap but cool so can you show me the evaporator yeah we'll walk sure, through let's sure. walk through and look at it i want to this was full of vendors earlier there's a few still here wave guys well i don't think you realize how nice of an operation you have for a tour here i've uh, done it a few years myself and um not everybody puts in this type of effort for the maple tour next weekend we are having um it's group weekend so we have Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, 4-H groups, um, FFV groups, homeschool groups, and they've scheduled time slots all day Saturday and all day Sunday. Very cool. So we'll, we'll take them through the whole tour, through the trees, the tap, and collect. And when they come in here, when they tour with Doug and he explains the evaporator, we let them buy the, an empty bottle and they bottle their own syrup, which is what everybody here gotcha. is doing today as well. So what do you got? It's just a liter two by six with the revolution or uh, raised flu. The max combo raised. Oh wow! Flu. It's the raised and drop. No kidding. So the flues are like eleven and a half, eleven and a quarter inches tall, something like that. And wood fired. Wood fired. It's got the revolution pans. Uh, David Yoakum Creekside Welding. Oh yeah, fluid. he's not far from and us. Preheater. Um, David Yoakum up there for our holding tank for the evaporator. Our canner also, David Yoakum built that. Water nice. Jacketed. He does very, very fine work. Yeah, he does. He's just across the state line. Yep, yep. Gerard there, yep. Um, so we've been here doing this here for 10 years. Uh, when we started out, the evaporator, the arch is original, except the blower and the airtight front are not original. It was just the basic leader WSE setup, 30 gallons an hour. 
we were running about 300 taps at the time. That's a lot on a two by six. We were putting in 10, 12 hour days, boiling at 30 gallons an hour. And after several years, we upgraded to the set of pans. I added the blower, I added the airtight front. And then two years ago, I had David build the hood and preheater for it. Makes a big difference. Oh, how, yeah. how much did your evaporation rate jump so up? So we're running right at about 60 gallons an hour. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, initially, when we just switched over to this this pan configuration, and we added the blower, but we didn't have the airtight front, we jumped up from our original 30 to about 45. Wow. Then once we added the airtight front, that boosted it up around 50, maybe a little over. And then the hood and preheater, it's got us up in the 60 range now. Gotcha. And, That's really good. You know, now with our sap intake, and I, I did build a, a two-post RO system, which is very helpful. And with our SAP intake now and using the RO, this has actually become our weakest link. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to sit down with Janet and have a little discussion about... <laughs> Loosely translated means beg for money. Well, and you know what? This sounds like a good time to negotiate. That's what it sounds yeah, like. It is, yeah. Negotiation it time. Is, yeah. But yeah. I, I think I would, I would go to, uh, I'd go David Yoakum. He did add a, a filter, small filter press this year. Yeah. We, oh, really? We also. Yeah. That's a Yoakum filter press. Oh no, no, that's a Smoky Lake filter okay. press. Okay. Okay. But that's new that for us this year. Air, so, down. who on your team is helping you make this go? So. You have an Austin. I do. I have an we Austin. You have an Austin. Oh, right. Right. Austin. This is your Austin. That's nice. Right. That is our Austin. Yeah. So do you do the work and then he takes the credit? Is Actually, that... all of them. That's what I do with my Austin. Caleb over here. Caleb, step over here. So this is your team. You got Caleb and Caleb Austin. And okay. Austin. And we can step out here. They're out here eating. Right? Okay. <laughs> we have Ryan. Ryan. Ryan's on our team. Nice. Ryan's on our team. Hi. Team, like, team Wakeman team. Maple Farm yes. here. Yes. Uh, is it, it's kind of addicting, right? The maple. Absolutely. It's fun. Very cool. Sweet. So how many? Yeah, you can't do it without a team. The thing is, there 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 are help with collecting. We need a lot of help collecting and pull off this open house. Oh my! It's massive. For oh my! So how many people are here helping today? Yeah, Troy and Nate and Bailey awesome. and Austin. Another Austin. Okay. We call him Squirrel. Nice. And Tracy right here. Tracy handles our bottling when people actually are bottling their own syrup. And oh, she, wow. She takes care of everybody doing that. This is awesome. Yeah. This there. is how I started. This is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. This it's, is uh, I'm just letting you know, like, it's coming. Like, you'll have yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a sick addiction, thing. Maple. Right. It is. It was all my friends and family that helped me get going. It's right here. This is these guys. So, yeah. Very cool. It's all, it's all them. Yeah. All of them. It's kind of what it makes it fun, too, is the camaraderie. It is. Fun. It is like you're you're hanging out. You're the laughing, the smells of the French fries and the right. evaporator, <laughs> and that's why I did it. I I missed it, so yeah. I just started growing it. That's that's cool. Well, usually most of the time during the season, during the day, you know, I I have a regular job that I I take off during maple season, and it's they kind of get a little upset with me. But you know, <laughs> once you tap the trees, you're married to them. Yeah. So yep. you got to be here and. Most of the time during the week, Janet's at work, yes. and it's just me by myself. Mm -hmm. And we've we've had some we've had some late Friday night long nights. Here. Yeah, this uh, year. Austin was here for Marlene was here, and Mar our Marlene, yeah, she was here. Um, four in the morning. Two a.m. one morning, four a.m. another another morning. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So yeah. let's I who's firing. Talking. Who's firing the evaporator? Oh, they Dougie. just did it. They missed it. They just did it. Oh, these, the, you know, the people that do the work, they really don't like waiting for the camera. Right, right. It was bad time. I'm going to need you guys to take that wood back out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scoop this. Oh, this is beautiful. I miss this. I do. My dad misses it, too. We started on a DNG 2x6 without the airtight front, uh, front uh, arch. This is beautiful. Pushing it through. They got a good rolling boil here. Chased with water. Last of our sap. Yep. So is the last year sap in here? 
It's it's in here. The wa- I don't think the water has quite made it in yet. Gotcha. It still looks like sap here. This is the end of your season, huh? Yeah. You got a nice place here. I like the stainless sink. That actually came out of a school that was going to be torn down. Wow. I bought it. And I bought it before I built the building when I was actually planning the building. And it, it worked out size wise. I mean, we have a whole kitchen out here. It's nice. We do our summer canning out here. You can be a little sloppy and it's sure doesn't matter. We have, like in the fall, we have a chili cook off and set everything up in here. We use the porch and hang out on the porch all summer. So, how many cords of firewood do you go through for a maple season? I do not have a count on that. I, I just. Don't you don't want to know. No. <laughs> No. But I just do know that... I like how well it's split. Look uh, at this. Split it small. Split it small. It the heat you need. Wow. This uh, smells like what used to come off our evaporator when Dad and I really got going. Oh, yeah. I'd say it's... Uh, is it predominantly sugar maple? Yes. Oh, wow. 95 caps, 95 bags hanging. But it's most of the soft maple. Oh, yeah. Everybody likes to test my taster. <laughs> yep. This is a good maple syrup here. Yeah, I don't taste any off flavor at all. You guys are shutting down well before. And, again, it's not not because the trees are budding. It's just just flow that just pretty much stopped on us. Being here makes me feel like I did when I was a kid. Now, this is smart. What is this? Like a jacket? That's a water jacketed holding tank. Draw. So it tank. keeps your syrup hot. So, my condensate water from the steam hood is passing through it, keeping the syrup hot to run through the filter press. Wow. Is this something David made for no, you? No, this is actually from Smoky Lake. Okay. Gotcha. That's very cool. Preheater. Yep. So, the water you're chasing is coming in at 172. 0.5 degrees. This is cool. Got the Smoky Lake here. Yeah. So, how many people that are here are family or just Janet and I and Caleb, my stepson? Okay. The rest are just just friends. That's awesome. Now, where do you meet all these people? Um, where do you meet all these suckers? I mean, friends. Caleb. Some are <laughs> Caleb's friends. Actually, they, they pretty much all started out as Caleb's friends. Like Austin and his brother Troy, they went to school with Caleb. And when we started 10 years ago doing this, they started stopping by and took a lot of interest in their, you know, they, every year they're here. Um, Austin loves to do the bottling. He's, he's our master bottler. Nice. Um, on, the, on the open house event, Tracy and John kind of take that over, helping people fill bottles. But just during the regular season, when the open house is going on, Austin is our main bottler. Yeah. And he he actually uh, he's an engineer, and he designed and he is a 3D printer. He made a little apparatus to put the label, the rolls and labels in for our bourbon barrels. That's awesome. To have, you know, to apply the labels to the bourbon barrels. We're getting close to a draw over here, guys. Oh, it'll be a little bit. It's, it's going to be a minute. This isn't our own sap, so it's going to be a while. It's taken a while. See your set point. Yeah, you got, what, three degrees about. It, and I, my set point, it seems low, but it's actually a little high. It's checking it with a hydrometer. It's still coming out a little heavy. Just adjust the density before we run it through the filter. Before we put the DE in, we'll make the density right on and we'll filter it. What's the copper line? Is that just a breather? That's a, so the, the preheater sometimes will get air locks. I got gotcha. you. And it needs to vent, it needs to burp. I got gotcha. you. So I've seen them on other rigs where when they burp, they'll actually start siphoning upwards. So I just routed it back to the holding tank. Of I got gotcha. you. And I actually have seen it siphon back a time or two. Interesting. Yeah. Do you have gloves to open up the uh, hood to see the preheater? Yep, right here. <laughs> You'll have to kind of get down a little bit. Before, sure. Because it's up under. Oh, yeah. It's stainless, too. Yep. Turn the light on if I can. 
Little stainless preheater. Parallel flow. Nice little rig. Yep. That was built by David Jokin. Very cool. Did you drive out there to get it or did he ship it? Yep. That's at least two hours. About two and a half hours. Gotcha. Very cool. You got the blower running. Yep. Nice. Nothing better than these quick connects, huh? Oh, yeah. Those are so good. They are. Very cool. When we started 10 years ago, the old configuration, when I built the building, I didn't even have this steam hood here. I just had the, the cupola yep. and the opening in the roof. And the first day we boiled was on a Sunday, and it was late February. It was still snow on the ground. It was cold in here when we got started, cold outside. And we got rolling, and steam's coming off here. And the next thing you know, it's so foggy in here, down to about this level, <laughs> nobody can see each other as they're talking. So you kind of had to get down like this to see who you're talking to. So after that first boil that following week, I actually built this. Very cool. And it actually hung down a little bit lower when it was on when I had the old pans. Then when we put this new pan set up in here, I had to raise it a little bit. And then when we put the hood on, we raised it up to what it is now. And it still works. It works perfectly fine. Now I have a question. I it's this is so neat, organized and clean. Is it that way all the time, or is it just because you have a tour? Um, no, it. We try to keep it clean in here. Yeah, we really try. I know it's hard because you're in and out. Sure. We're, we're working with wood, and you got the mess. Oh, it's wood. very clean, organized. Everything's also, neat. You you don't see them now, but we have four dogs. No kidding. One German Shepherd who's the size of a pony, and he doesn't know it. And then we have four Australian Shepherds, like the cattle dogs. And yeah, yeah. They're tearing around in here and stirring up dust, so you're constantly wiping things down. But with the event today, they've been unfortunately locked in the house. Sure. They're ready to come out, I bet. Oh, yeah. Now, Janet, you were just telling me about my wife has something in her hand here. Right. This is a, a tag. Right. So tell me what this tag's for. When someone, after they do the tour and they tap the tree and they collect, they bring their sap up here to the tanks and dump it in. They come in and Doug explains the evaporator and shows them everything. And then our team, led by Austin, um, will come back here and we have sanitized bottles in the oven at the other end of the sugar house. They can pick an empty bottle to fill. They buy the empty bottle. Austin helps them fill it. Then they go out and once they pay for it, they get this tag and That's they cool. bottle their own syrup and it's a novelty souvenir for them. That's genius, by the way. I, I don't know who came up with that idea, but that's brilliant. So <laughs> yeah. they get to sit right here, sit right here, fill up their own bottle, and they get to lay. This is genius. Yeah. Do you buy these from like a local? I, I have a yeah, a local wood maker. That's and cool. We partnered with him, and and yeah, he comes and he's a vendor here, and then we we go to him for our wood stuff. We have a little agreement. Yeah, and he made that. He, yeah, the sun. Oh, I see here. it. A little laser. Yeah. Very good idea. Uh, everybody's going to steal this from you. Oh, I'm sure. This idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> Smart. It's coming. Yeah. It was our little secret for a few years, but... <laughs> well, what you find is, is uh, yeah, we're such a small... The maple industry is tiny. It is. It is. But this is brilliant. Very important. And, and people are so, so happy to know where their food comes from. And, and it's kids, especially, are, are you know, they, they have no idea this is where it's from. And parents are glad they're getting something good for a change so it's well tastes delicious i sampled yeah. it did you i did yeah uh what would you say most of your sales come from uh is it like web do you have uh wholesalers like an orchard that would buy from you we mostly just direct sales right to the consumer um we do have a website okay and we, and we we put it on our website we get a lot of orders on our website and what is the website uh wakenmaplefarms.com awesome yeah and um, that a lot of people will come by direct from the sugar house, and we just you know make times and hours to, to meet them here around their schedules, and then you know that hey, we got a draw. It's a lot of times oh, I gotta get the draw. You better get this draw. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming out. Oh, that's that's sixty six point eight. I can tell. Mm -hmm. I'm messing. <laughs> I can usually. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. He's floating her. 
Look at that, baby. A little, little heavy. That's all right. We will adjust it before we filter it. Oh, sure. Look at this little setup here. This is awesome. What's the temperature, do you think, in your draft tank with that hot water? Well, I've pulled my probe out of the pan and stuck it down in there time. It's around 145 degrees. Gotcha. So it's drawn off. We hit the number here. 218.9. And the set point's 218.5. So this will start dropping. And when it matches that number, or it gets, I think, a tenth below, it shuts off, right? Either or, I can't remember. So, that's awesome. It has to go a tenth over before it'll open. And I know one of the secrets to the automatic draw-off is you need a valve yep. here to regulate this guy. Yep. Very cool. You don't want it coming out of there wide open. All right, we got to go back and talk to Janet. All right, Janet. What what is your number one seller? Um, when they do the self filling, the leaf bottles. Okay. The, the kids like the leaf bottles. They like the look. Very. Parents are a little cautious. Like they're looking for value. Like that's not the best value. Um, or if there's a couple kids, they'll fill a glass quart. They'll take turns sure. filling a glass quart. Sure. Um, today, just sales. It's the bourbon barrel age. Awesome. And you said people were taking it out in cases yesterday. They were. They were. That's couldn't, awesome. Couldn't keep up with it at all. Do you have a case discount? Depends. <laughs> on, if you, <laughs> on if you like them or not. That's awesome. We we have done that, yes. We've had a couple people ask us to do it wholesale. We're we're not there yet. I don't know if we will be. We really don't have a need. That's part of Doug's negotiation. He wants to. <laughs> What is it that he wants? Yeah, a little bit of everything so far. What is it that, Aaron, yeah. yeah. Doug, what was it that you wanted? Well, I think our, at this point our evaporator is our weakest link now. Oh, okay. I want a bigger building. Well, oh, you'll need more taps. I need more taps. I need a bigger building. I need a better warehouse. If you give a moose a muffin. Right. If you give a mouse a cookie. Isn't it's that the book? It's endless, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's never endless. ending. It's a vicious cycle. Right. He's so. cautiously watching that because... We had another tank he's flowed over a few times yeah. while filling it. Listen, so. I've never <laughs> ever right. flowed a tank. Right, right. Anybody that's new that starts with us, I'm like, listen, I've never broken a hydrometer right. ever. Right. <laughs> I used to be able to say that, but my good one a week ago, he broke it. I just was taking a sample in the hot syrup, and I keep it in the steam there in the float box so it's hot. <laughs> Just stuck it under there, and the hot syrup hit the very top of it, and it broke the tip. That's weird. Right off. Yeah. I heard the noise, but I didn't really know what happened until later on. I picked it up, and I felt the edge. It was jagged. I thought the heck. Was it? Uh, it was a good run for that one then. It was. I got like three years out of it. That's really good. I got like three years out of that. One. I'm lucky if I get three days. That's the one I put the most space in too. That's awesome. So, Janet, what was that? I said, I have a complaint about Doug's sugar house, as nice as he thinks it is. Um, our Wi-Fi is faltering. What? And he will not let me have a TV out here. Either. I don't want distractions. So. Is it, uh, like, Netflix? What is it, the uh, Internet? Yeah. What, what do you need for taking credit cards or something? Well, no. we just want Entertainment. To... Yes. Yes. I, I Doug. Have... How Doug. I don't feel the need for How any more distractions. Your YouTube Doug. channel, if we don't. Well, what you can do is put a camera out here, and you can watch things happen. <laughs> yeah. No, we all yeah. know the bad things that can happen in a sugar house when so when somebody's not paying attention. Yeah, and if people, if it happened live, it would yeah. be even better. Oh, people would love it. Faster. And I would like a dishwasher too. A dishwasher? I, I, mean, I don't think that's too much to ask. I'm all about that. Yeah. Are you gonna go we've with it? We've got the hot water. We've got the good floors. We've got everything else. But I want a dishwasher. I wanted good internet and TV wouldn't hurt. Anything else? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, these smart TVs, smart TVs. Yeah, Kathy Jo, what do I want? <laughs> what does she want? What do you need? She yeah. wants a bigger evaporator. That too. Bigger evaporator. That's, that's, their, that's their bottleneck. Right. But along with that comes a TV then and I a got dishwasher. Market. You got it. Right? Right? So you built this? Yes. Wow. So I built it a year ago. And it was just a single post. Okay. And it had a, a quarter horse electric motor and like a, a 125 um, Procon pump on it. This year I upgraded at another post, put a horse and a half motor and a 330 Procon pump on it. Okay. 
but I run them parallel. I don't run them in series. I'm not after a high concentrate number. I'm just trying to make a manageable amount that I can boil on the date's time. Cool. So where did you find plans for something like this? Um, some YouTube videos, basically. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And then the rest of it was just in my head. So this is uh, something that you built from watching YouTube videos, yep. and uh, will you ever go back to not having an RO? No. <laughs> How much no. firewood does this save you? A lot. Yeah. A lot. Uh, it, it's one of the best things we've done. That's awesome. Like I say, now it has made our evaporator our weakest link. Yeah. Only, only because we can process more sap. You know, we're able to take on more sap. Are you sure you just don't need more taps? Well, yeah, that that would that would be helpful also. I'm just trying to help you out, Jan. And, and then along the lines of that, then we'd have to go with a bigger RO, and you know. Oh well, yeah. And then we'd need bigger tanks oh, yeah. over here. Yep. But it's, it's it's never ending. Definitely been a game changer. For Very me. cool. So. so I see you have two switches on here. Yeah. So one switch, it it the whole thing is fed 220, and then. 220 is broken down to 110 for our little primary pump okay. that feeds it, it the pressure it pump through the um, pre filter. Okay. Then that feeds the pressure pump. Where is your, oh your pre filters on the back? Yeah, here. it's on the back. This is very cool. And then it has a it has a uh, recirculation system that, that which is this valve. I cool. run it at about 250 psi and set it for even flow rates. And as when I get my flow rates where I want them, which is usually isn't that nice? about a gallon and three quarters a minute, according to the flow. Is that of your permeate or your concentrate? I, I keep them equal. Oh, so you're I blowing it out. I run them equal. You're really processing fast. You're yeah. more interested in removing water. Yes. Yes. Okay. What do you think you have invested in this unit here? Do you have an idea? I have not added up. Listen, I don't think Janet can hear you. If I'm you honest to God, I... <laughs> I guess off the top of my head, probably at least fifteen hundred dollars. Oh yeah, that's a great deal, though. I mean, you save that in firewood in the first year, right? Absolutely, very cool. Nice. And when we run it, I just bring it out, and it sits right here between the two tanks. Okay. I'll set it right here. It plugs in up above. Very cool. And. This is our main holding tank. Yeah. We'll put all of our raw sap in here. We'll draw it out, run it through the RO. Our permeate water goes in here, and our concentrate goes in here. And then do you have a pump with your concentrate tank, or do you use the RO to push it up? No, there's a sump pump. Oh, beautiful. In here. That's hooked up to uh, an overhead line that feeds through. It goes through a Culligan whole house water filter. Cool. The outlet that the sump pump plugs into is controlled by a switch inside, right underneath our holding tank. That's why she said earlier that... So you can almost see it right there's the holding tank right here. So here's the concentrate tank, and then here's the holding tank right here. So when he gets that where he wants it, boop, right up there. Very cool. 60 gallon an hour evaporation rate. That's impressive. Well, thanks, guys. I'm looking forward to making this. This is good, good coming out here. Awesome.